In this video, we're gonna talk about anti-Markovnikov. The anti-Markovnikov or the Karas effect after the name of Maurice S. Karas who discovered it first. Let's review first about Markovnikov rule. When there is a reaction between unsymmetrical alkene and hydrogen halide, there are two possible products from two intermediate carbocations. They are secondary intermediate carbocation and primary intermediate carbocation. From its stability, secondary carbocation is more stable than primary car carbocation. So, the stable or the major product is the CL attack the secondary carbocation. So, the CL that attack the primary carbocation is the minor product or unstable product. Okay, let's go further about anti-Markovnikov. When an unsymmetrical alkene with hydrogen halide in the presence of peroxide, for example, hydrogen peroxide H2O2 or HOOH, CH3, OOCH3, and etc. The product is 1 chloropropane. The Cl attack the primary carbocation. Why? See the mechanism using hydrogen bromide. Hydrogen peroxide or HOOH is an unstable molecule. If we hit it, two free radicals of OH will be formed. The OH radicals will go on and attack HBr or hydrogen bromide, which will take the hydrogen and create a bromine radical. The bromine radical will go on and attack the last substitute carbon of the alkene. This is because after the bromine radical attack, the alkene a carbon radical will be formed. A carbon radical is more stable when it is at a more substitute carbon. After a carbon radical is formed, it will go on and attack the hydrogen of a HBr, which a bromine radical will be formed again. Next, let's do the exercises. Number one, there is a reaction between an unsymmetrical alkene and hydrogen halide in the presence of peroxide or H2O2 because there is peroxide in the reaction. This is using anti-Markovnikov rule. There are two possible carbocation here, tertiary and secondary carbocations. Br will attack the last substitute or secondary carbocation. It is a stable product if there is a peroxide in the reaction, an unsymmetrical alkene and HBr in the presence of a peroxide. This will use anti-Markovnikov rule. And the product is the Br attack the secondary intermediate carbocation. How about number 4? There is an alkene but this is symmetrical alkene 
and HBr in the presence of peroxide. In this reaction, we will not using Markovnikov or anti-Markovnikov because Markovnikov and anti-Markovnikov is for use to unsymmetrical alkene only. Try to answer question number 5. An unsymmetrical alkene plus HBr in the presence of peroxide. And number 6. An unsymmetrical also plus HBr in the presence of peroxide. And number 7. An unsymmetrical alkene plus HBr. Please like my videos and subscribe my channel. Thank you.